Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and Mr. Pymar. What's cooking, sir? Uh, right now I think plastic. And Invar. And Invar. Loads of Invar. Oh, Invar for oh, days. Invar. Yeah. How much Invar are you making? Oh, I see you're making stacks upon stacks of it. It seems like it's... something good to have. I guess. If you want to be all Pahamar about it. There's a lot of things that use it. There probably is. Dude, our input chest is tearing through all this stuff. Like, I was considering expanding the size of our smelteries, but I don't even know if we really need to. I mean, we just dumped a bunch barrels. of stuff in. I know, right? We've got, like, almost a stack of some blocks. 60 gold. 60 blocks of gold. <laughs> do you know how much EMC that is? I do not, but it's probably a large number. I was going to say zero because it's not installed, but... Oh, okay. If you want to be literal about it. <laughs> I mean, you weren't specific. I thought you meant EMC in general. Like, how much uh, it's going to be. Well, okay, well, that would be 60 times 496. That's how much a block is or, an, or a bar? Oh, no, okay, times nine. Times nine. Yeah, right? That's a lot of EMC. That's like a diamond. It might be a little <laughs> bit bigger than a diamond. Nice. So yeah, we've got tons of stuff, guys. Like, we're cruising. So this is episode nine, and we've already got, like, almost a stupid amount of resources in terms of metal. And our auto smelter is really cooking along really well. Um, like, just everything's automated. Everything's working. I'm really pleased to see how well everything's working, because I wasn't sure, like... You know, I like to test things, and I, I think we were, we were pretty much on target. Um, everything does seem to be working correctly. Uh, the barrel of sand is working, so we've got, like, five and a little bit more than five stacks of sand going on over there, Pahmar. So we're, we're doing good on sand. Excellent. What I should probably do, since the only other thing that would be collected is dust, I should probably just make another barrel for dust and then be done with it. But eh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, I was going to expand this thing, too, but we've got so many resources coming in, it doesn't even seem worthwhile at this point. Yeah, oof, oh, geez, I just pick up a ton of stuff just by jumping in here. I know, because there's so much to get. Um, but hey, guess what? While uh, you know we were in between the last episode and this one, I did a bunch of crafting off-camera, because I think we've gotten to the point where we don't need to craft things on-camera anymore. Uh, and I'm ready to hand in two quests, sir. What quests would those be? Uh, well, the first one, I believe, is in Hell's Kitchen. So if you want to take a look at Culinary Genius, I've crafted all the things for that. Oh, I may have already handed that one in. Okay, well, I'll hand mine in then. Do, 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 do. I'm going to use this heart because I died earlier. Oh, I have um, eggs. I have eggs. Oh, you have eggs. I have six I have jaded six cats, jaded six cat. silverfish, six chicken... A blizz, sheep, a pig, six villagers, wow. and two mushrooms. Nice. That's actually probably pretty awesome. I used the hardest. I got a spiked axe, which is jagged and stonebound and clumsy. It's a plain reward. It's not a troll reward, but it's pretty close. Didn't you get one of those earlier? I don't know. This loot system hates me. I'm pretty yep. sure Jaded yep. put something in the code so that, like, if Direwolf, then troll the lol lol. But at least we have an organized system for doing things now, and I can put, put things somewhere. Uh, so we have a food system. Should I put, like, all the mortar and pestle and pot and skillet? You know, let's look at the next yeah, quest probably. for... Probably. Yeah, let's see what we have to make. So we have to make salt, fresh milk. Water and milk can be refined into various components that can be further refined into cheese butter, and cream. I'm going to wager we're going to need cows in order for this to occur. I would bet as well. How do we make a cow? Uh, we have to get some grass. Which I'm pretty sure we've got the seeds for somewhere over here. Well, somewhere, somewhere. Where'd you put seeds? In the seeds chest? Yep. Nice. Uh, pumpkin, melon... Grass seeds. Yeah, we've got some grass seeds. We can get some grass going. All we have to do is get a piece of dirt and get it going. Should we automate the production of dirt before we start doing that, though? Uh, you mean via barrels? No. Via sludge boiler. Ooh, that would be a good idea. Yeah, so that's the next quest that we're almost ready to hand in. Like, 
I did all the stuff that we need for the uh, next quest, which is uh, cultivating the harvest. But it's a two-stage quest, so I created all the stuff in the farming stage, and now we have to do the sludge piece, which we need to get a sludge bucket for. So we're probably so, going to do that over here, because we need energy for that. Um, we do, so we can either make more magmatic engines and put them over there and run the lava over to that side of the farm, or we want to build it out over here right next to this thing. Or, or we duplicate our lava generator and put it over there. It's kind of like however you want to do it. Well, we do have a lot of redstone now and a stone barrel downstairs, so we can finally get ourselves some netherrack. We could. And then we could very easily get ourselves some more lava. Yeah. And then we can just set up magmatic dynamos over there. Do you want to get started with that? And I'll start crafting a couple magmatic dynamos, make sure we have the fluid ducts we need, that kind of stuff. Sounds good. Okay. Then we'll be back in a minute after we've crafted everything. All right, guys, we are back. And one of the first things we want to automate over here, I think, was going to be trees, Mr. Palomar. Yeah, we should do trees at least for a little while. Get some, uh, okay. get some good wood supplies because we're going to want a lot of barrels, I think. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem. So what's the good center point of this platform? Is this like here? One, two, three, four, five, six... One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so that's like the center. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so we'll we'll go with here. So this is where we're gonna put. Have you messed with these at all yet? This uh, whole yes, stuff, I have. This stuff? I have. Okay. So you know how to set these all up and everything. Can you give me a pillar up to that block? Like right here, right up to this. Yeah, I'm trying, to get, yeah. I'm trying to get. Trying to get. Trying to get some cobble out of the gen here. I got some, never mind. Oh, you stole it. Oh, you stole it. No, I didn't. I just have some on me all the time. Oh, I realized oh, something I realized. you did with the switch down here. What's that? When you turn it on? When you turn it on for the item duct, you turn off yeah. the igneous extruder. Oh, did I? Oh, I uh, set the igneous to ignore it. All right, so this guy will be our planter. So we're going to go with wood first, just so we can get a decent amount of that stuff. And it'll also help us a lot with getting more dirt. Um, do you want, well, yeah. What we're going to want to do first, Bonmar, is get a bunch of saplings so that we have enough, you know, for saplings, replanting. Eh? Yeah. I can go and get that. Um, well, I mean... The plant or the harvester has an option. We can either have it harvest leaves or saplings. We're gonna want it to harvest saplings so it can keep the planter filled. Ooh, consume stack mode. I like that upgrade. That's cool. All right, so let's get this thing covered in dirt again. Uh, so I think really the only thing we're gonna need. I've got some saplings by the way, ready to go. The only thing we're really gonna need is some power here. So let's get that set up. Um, so we've got. You want to run power out the side of these things again, similar to how we did it before? Sounds good. Um, so let's run... Do you want tanks again, or do you want to just straight into magmatics? Let's go straight to magmatics for now. Okay. So I've got some fluid ducts ready to go. Can you get, uh, get this thing ready for... Uh, put some levers and whack it, or no? Run it upstairs again. If not, I have the stuff for it. I just, if you have it handy, that's cool. No, I know we have levers upstairs, actually. Okay. So what I'm thinking, then, is we've got this guy set up here. I've also got some hardened energy conduits ready. I'm going to start with three magmatics. I made four, but I'm going to start with three. So yeah, these guys are ready. More than enough. Yeah, I think so. And then room for more if needed. And I'll wrench these guys so that they're ready to pull their lava out. There we go. And we should be getting some trees planted up there. I can kind of see them already. So it's definitely working. Good deal. 
We do need some upgrades, but we'll get those in a bit. Um, so now that that's ready, which looks good, uh, the next thing we're going to want is a harvester. So where should we put the harvester? Should we put it behind the farm or in front of it? I'm thinking behind. Yeah, behind. Because yeah. that's kind of... Yeah. So maybe right back here. I'm down here if you need me. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm just going to hook up power. And this thing should be ready to harvest. Nice. Um, I'm thinking we'll break this guy off. And then... Where do you want the barrels to be? I brought a bunch of barrels over. Hmm, do you want the do you barrels want the... in the front? So then we could do that. Run. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking. Or we could have it off to the side, maybe. Side might be good. Yeah, that looks cool. So, item ducks. Straight back here. Watch your step back here, because it's not safe currently. Not safe for Palmer. Not safe for anyone who can't fly. That's okay, I'm getting carrots. Mm. So we'll item duct straight into these guys. That should be good. All right, so that should work for us, buddy. When are we going to get some Endermen so we can have some elevators? Well, I keep getting side uh, sidetracked. I know. But now that we got that going, let's see, what do you get to work on? Because I actually have everything I need to get started up there. I've just been waiting for a chance to do it. Well, I also want some upgrades. The upgrades actually are a follow-up quest. Are they? I don't want to wait for the sludge, and we have enough resources. So I'm going to go with, uh, I think I'm going to do a copper upgrade. That should be good. Radius go with increase tin. of four. Yeah? Yeah, just go with tin. Just trust me. Just, just go me. with tin? But tin's a smaller radius. Just trust me. Just trust me. I know that's what's required for the quest, but I want to do copper. I'll make oh. a tin one later, just for fun. So what do I need for these upgrades? Copper. Where'd you put the rubber, by the way? Uh, there should be a bunch in the chest beside the powered furnace. Okay. Cool. And we've got some gold. That should be... And some redstone. Nice. All right, let's go install this stuff. And what should start happening now is that, because because of where I placed the harvester, we can't actually harvest yet because it's too far away from stuff. That's why I wanted the upgrade first. Okay, so let's see if that works for us. This guy should be able to harvest now. Look, he's cruising. Perfect. Look at him go. He might even catch your other trees, too. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure the uh, sapling barrel to output and put it directly into the planter. That's like a plan? Yep, and I bet you this guy's full of sludge now. Yep. He should be. And I don't know if we can bucket it straight out of there. I, I might believe have a bucket we can. On me. I believe we can. I gotta, I'll go get a bucket. I had a bucket on me. I must have used it for crafting. Nice. Wood. 
saplings, apples. I have submitted. You what, what? I have submitted. Oh, the quest? Yep. Ready for handing? Yep. I'm going to pick Go the tomato it. seed. OK. Anything in particular? Ooh, we can get ender lily seeds? Yep. It will actually, yeah, but you get them fairly common. Yeah, we probably don't want seeds. So if you did, what'd you do? Tomato, I'll do bean. Hooray! And a flux-infused sickle. You want to toss me your seeds? Sure. Here, I have my uh, quarter heart, too. Aw, oh, Dyrol's giving me his heart. Yeah. So sweet. All right. Much love. So how do I want to pull items? I guess I'll pull out of the back. I don't know. That's a hassle. I'll figure it out. All right, next thing is to feed the, the saplings into the... Well, you know what I could do? I have a better idea. Because I don't want to... I hate having two things going into the barrel. I think I have a better plan. Dun, 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 dun. You know, while you're doing that, I'm going to get a builder. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Is that what you're going to do? It is. Is there a problem? Nope. Oh, okay. No. Well, carry on. Yep. All right, so now what should happen is saplings could go here first. And then once this thing is full, as a matter of fact, I might just have it keep maybe this many saplings. And let's see. Can I put, like, cobblestone in here? I can. Good. All right, so that'll be good. So what'll happen is we'll keep four stacks of saplings in there, and then any excess saplings will make their way to the barrel. That should be good. All right, dude, our uh, auto tree farm is the go. Nice. I'm going to go uh, throw some bone meal at it just to make sure it's working properly, but I think we'll be in good shape. And remember, we can switch this guy to shears mode, and it'll shear the leaves, and then we'll be in... Like, we'll be really good. In fact, let me let me just set that now so I can get everything set up, right? Shear leaves, yes. And let's get this guy set to growing stuff. There we go. Oh, this is going to be oh, dangerous. I know. Uh, do we want to get the sludge boiler up and running? Because I think I can. I think that would be a great idea as well. All right, just remember, like, when you get near the sludge boiler, you take damage and stuff. Yes, I have learned that. Does it give you hunger? It, it gives does. you some debuff. I had a it's feeling. really it's nasty really... on this map. Well, yeah. It's not the actual damage, it's the idea that you could just suddenly starve to death. Right. I'm so, kind of scared do we want to. into this mob spawner. Yeah. Because it's full of wisps. I can hear them. <laughs> so, should we therefore build the the sludge boiler like semi further away like where it'll be outside the range of where we'd be normally walking I think that's a good idea yeah I think I'll do that did you make that builder's wand thing yep oh god there's so many wisps <laughs> so by the way guys uh, a special recipe for this map is a stick surrounded by diamonds gives you a builder's wand so because I, I don't know if we'll get the item needed for a builder's wand so could you build me out a little bit of platform over here, right behind our um, our magmatic dynamos? I am battling wisps. That sounds terrible. All right, guys, we'll be back once we've done a little building and I'm ready to do my sludge boiler. All right, Mr. Pahamar, are you ready? Born ready. What are we ready for? Ready for. I'm going to make uh, or, or put to use the sludge boiler we got. Nice. Yeah. Um, so what I need is a platform, since you have a builder's wand, I figured you'd be perfect for that. Where would you like the platform? I'm thinking just a little bit behind the harvester, and then what we'll do is we'll run uh, fluid ducts back beyond, behind it, right? And then, you know, run item ducts back here to a chest, and we'll let this chest collect all the resources. That sound kind of like a plan? Sure thing. I don't know exactly what the range of that thing is, but I think 
you know, we'll want to go back a little bit. I'm out of cobble. You need some cobble? It doesn't need to be that big of a platform. That's my OCD. Okay. I mean, we have a cobble gen right behind us. Right. Perfect. Oh, I'm out of torches. Can you light up this corner? Yeah, All right, so I'm thinking is sludge boiler here, maybe? Yeah, that's probably safe. And then I want item ducks. And oh, do you have one more piece of cobble? Oh, you know, never mind. I'm good. Don't tell me I'm short on item ducks here. I might be. Can you bring me two item ducks? Uh, sure. Do you have any made, or do I need to make them for you? Ah, uh, you might have to make them. Okay. Thanks, buddy. So I'm about halfway okay. done with fixing the mob spawner. Oh, yeah? So it's dark out. Is that a problem for up there? Like, did you set light up in there, or did you... What'd you do? It's light up there right now. Alright, so you put, like, stuff up there. Torches and whatnot. Yeah. Cool. I had quite the epic battle with a, a horde of wisps. Yeah, I imagine there's probably a ton of those things up there. They decimated my armor. Did they? Although I don't oh, know if cool. there's armor. Oh, cool. All the Oh, wait. Right. You oh, lost wait. yours when you died. I did. You're right. Oh, that's sad. I didn't even realize that happened. There you go. There you go. Oh, thank you, sir. Where'd they go? Okay, cool. Perfect. All right, so that will go there. That will pump out the items. So the sludge boiler will create that stuff. It'll get pumped over there. I don't know if I need this to be redstone activated or not. I always forget, like, some machines need it, some machines don't. I don't know. But what I do need to do is go downstairs and run some power over to that thing. So I'm going to need um, some power lines to run over there. What I'll do, Pi, is uh, break a hole in the floor so I know where to go. I'm already down here building you a platform out there. Thank you. All right. Geronimo! This always happens to me. <laughs> All right, that should do it. Just watch your step over here. So what we should now have is power going into the sludge boiler, and it'll turn all the sludge from the tree farm into dirt and all kinds of stuff. So we're going to have to see how quickly that operates, but I would imagine that we're going to get a decent amount of stuff from that. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Okay. So far we have sand. And salt. Oh, nice. We get salt from this. Well, that's cool. And, and we got I'm some clay. I knew that uh, was going to happen. Though. Is it poison or is it hunger? What? What is it? Hunger. Oh, hunger. Yeah. I know it's particularly nasty in this map. This map. Yeah, you don't want any part of hunger on this map. But no, we're getting some good stuff. Oh, I just got some peat from forestry. Yep. I don't even know if we have peat engines. I have no idea. Uh, Peat-fired engines don't appear to have a recipe. So I don't know what we can use peat for. We can smelt it into ash, or we can just use it as regular fuel. Well, Heat fuel choices. has a broken texture somewhere. 
Okay. Long story short, we're getting stuff. Ooh, gravel. Ooh, four dirt already. Nice. Yeah, that thing's real nice. You'll actually get sil uh, soul sand out of that, too. Will we? That's good. Not a lot, but you'll Not get some. Same as you'll get um, some of the Tinker's Construct, like heat sand and stuff like that. Right. All right. Going All right. Back. So, I mean, we'll leave this running and we'll come back and check on it a little bit. I think salt is needed for one of the quests that we have, by the yep. way. Yep. It's yep. the next one in the Hell's Kitchen. Nice. I want to check that real quick just to see if what we did. All right. So, I think we have to actually. Oh, it's a manual submit. Yeah. So, well, step one, salt. So we are cruising on dirt now, by the way. Nice. I've still nice. got 20 left from earlier, and we already got six from the sludge we're boiling. The room I'm building So right that's now a lot is... easier oh, than sorry. what it was before. The room I'm building right now, I, th I think I'm going to have it have a height of four. You don't think that's going to screw up anything, do you? Like as long I can't as it's think of any problems three, there. We'll get Enderman. Yeah, that's fine. All right, guys, we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, Mr. Pahamar, I hear that you've got a new mob setup going on up here. Yeah, I think you might like it. I'm looking forward to liking it. Ooh, look at this. Shiny. So you switched out the water. Whoa, that is not a good idea. Holding shift is important. Can you break... Yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> you put those two so I went to peek over that edge, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm an entity, aren't I? You should have two. Right. You should have two. Uh, I have one. Then we have one down there. That's okay. We'll make another one. Don't fall. <laughs> nice, dude. I like it. It looks good. Yeah, so now we should get Enderman. And... Right. Uh... We'll have a grinder set up there. I think we'll do that next time. So that'll okay. uh, automate grabbing the stuff so we can get rid of that hopper that really wasn't a good idea. Okay. We should probably make sure that we have the grinder set up before we leave this be. No, it should be fine. Because the thing is, is that once we, someone is down there, someone will clean out the mobs and the other person will set up the grinder. Okay. I'm just worried that Enderman will spawn in here and then drop down there and then start teleporting around our map. No, I don't think you need to worry about that. Oh, no? Do oh, you know my history with Enderman? I battled one with you. Yeah, so you should know how wrong you are. Well, the mob trap is turned on, so... It's turned off still? On. Yeah, it's on. Oh, no, man. This stuff in here, this is historical. Yeah. So it's off right now, or it's on? It's on. We're, we are. As soon as we move away, we will get mobs. Okay, great. Wisps. Yeah, I love wisps. Oh, they're really high. All right. Well, I think we have to wrap up the episode now, but we'll be back next episode to do cool stuff. Sounds like a plan. All right, guys. So for now, uh, this is Starwell 20 and Bob Mars signing off. Uh, next episode, what are we working on? We got all kinds of stuff to work on, don't we? Wow, we got a lot of resources there, didn't we? Yeah, I think uh, with Ender Pearls, we'll be able to make a vacuum hopper. Cool. And then I think there's some thermal expansion stuff to make. Uh, yeah, then... I'd like to get a full suite of thermal expansion machines so we can start getting like hardened glass and stuff. Oh yeah, we're gonna need that very, very soon. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I have an igneous extruder. I'm gonna automate the production of obsidian because we have infinite lava and water now. So that's a good plan. Okay. Then I will get to work, and I'll do that off camera because that's pretty basic stuff at this point. Cool. Sounds cool. All right, guys. Take it easy. Bye.